In this video, I'll show you how to make a YouTube end card template for your video end screens, just like these animated ones on screen right now in just a few minutes. And then exactly how to use that fancy new template of yours in your own video outros step by step. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help you grow an audience and scale your revenue with online video. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button and all the links to everything we mentioned in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. So let's jump into it. So YouTube end cards are a great way to add more value to your viewers, linking them to related content or resources and driving more views and traffic to your videos as well. Now we released a tutorial on how to create a simple static end screen video outro a little while back, but with tools that are available today, you can now take that to a whole new level and create a professional animated end screen in just a few minutes. So in this video, we're gonna step you through exactly how to build a custom animated end screen template that looks super professional and matches your branding and exactly how to use it in all your future YouTube videos. Now, just before we jump in and create our end screen template, I'm just gonna show you what it is we'll be creating and also give you an understanding on how these end screens actually work and what the limitations are. So I've got a sample video here. I'll just select that, come down here to end screens. This is where you can set up all of your end screens once they're created. And this is what we're gonna be building out to in this tutorial. So if I hit play here, you can see that we have some text on screen here animating, the background image is animating. We have uh, subscribe text and we've got a link here for a subscribe button and also for another video which we are referencing on screen, edit faster. Now it's important to note that your end screens are restricted to a maximum of 20 seconds and that 20 seconds has to be at the end of your video. These can't appear anywhere in your video except for the last 20 seconds, but you don't need to have them on for the entire 20 seconds. You can have them on screen for less if you would like. Now the clickable or interactive elements that you can add onto your end screen, you just add them up the top here. So you can add multiple videos. You can have up to two videos on screen at once. You can link to a playlist, you can link to a subscribe button, you can link to a specific channel, or you can link off to an approved website as well. So if you're referencing a PDF download or an opt-in or something, if it is a, an approved site or a verified site, then you can link directly to that from your end screen as well. And none of these elements can actually be positioned outside of this white box area here. So if we pick this one up and go to move it outside, you can see that that border is restricting it from going any further. Likewise, there are some size restrictions as well. This is as small as a video can be, but we can make it a little bit bigger up to this point here. So this is as big as a video can be. And you can see that our subscribe area here, this red one has gone red. That's saying that there is overlap between them. None of the elements can overlap. So it actually won't let us save this. You can see we've gone red down the bottom here because we have elements overlapping. So if I select this one here and just press delete on the keyboard, we can remove that. But it is important to know the different sizes and positioning that you've got access to when you are creating your end screen or end card to make sure that you're building it or getting the template to match what you're after. Okay, so now creating your end screen template, the service that we use and that we recommend for this, it's gonna save you so much time, so much headaches, and it's gonna create something awesome for you. The service is called Place It. So you're gonna head over to the Placeit website, come over to videos, and then down to YouTube videos. Now just to pause for a second here, you can see that this is so much more than just YouTube videos, just under videos alone. We've got Twitch screens, promo videos, Instagram stories, animated logos, video intros. This is our number one top pick for creating an intro video for your videos, let alone any fancy slideshows or Instagram stories or anything like that as well. But it's also so much more than just videos. There's full logo design stuff in here and animated logos. You can create designs for t-shirts and all sorts of stuff in here. So we're gonna focus just on the YouTube end screens for this video, but just know that there is so much more in here as well. So we're here under the YouTube video templates section and just scrolling through here you can see how many of these things there are that you can use in your videos but what we're interested in for this video is the YouTube end cards so we'll come up here to end cards so if we scroll down here you can see there's lots of different options and all of these are animated and are really easy for you to customize up with your branding your images your logos and things to make them work for you and for your videos. So you can see you've got some simple ones here where there's not much going on, but it's nice and clean. And you can easily see the links and everything to the next videos. Uh, this next one across here, there's a bit more going on with the animated background there. 
a lot more text on screen or this next one here is also pretty clean as well so to say thanks for watching subscribe and watch next we've got some down here that are totally different so you've got lots of different options but for this one i'm just going to start with this one here let's customize this one up so you can see we haven't even created an account yet we haven't even had to log in we can jump straight into customizing this up for free now do note that in order to remove their made with place at watermark you will need to pay the nine dollars 95 as a one-time fee to use this template or if you jump onto their subscription you get access to all the mock-ups designs the video tools and templates and logos and everything for a monthly fee which is ridiculously cheap considering you get access to all of that stuff Okay, so this is the template we've selected and you can see we have control over a lot of it. So we go down here and just hit this little replay button here and this is gonna show us our template again. So thanks for watching, it's red uh, and we've got subscribe and watch next. So the first thing I'll do here is let's change the text holder color from red and let's go a blue, something close to our primal video blue. Obviously we can go in here a little deeper, hit more and actually key in our primal video blue color. But for this, we'll just pick something close. So you can see straight away that, that blue we've selected has already been applied to our template and we can see it here in our preview monitor. And if we hit preview video, that will give us a preview or a playback of those modifications as they happen. You see now that when we play it back, that blue is applied. We've also got some music tracks in there as well. But what I would recommend is that you actually turn this off because we're gonna be dropping this back into our video editing software after this is complete. So we can add any music or anything that we want in there instead of using their music in here. Okay, so now we've got that blue text outline in there. Next up, we can pretty much customize anything else. We can change the text if we want. So instead of saying watch next, if you actually know what that video is that you're going to tell your viewers to watch next, then you can enter some text in here about that video. So it could be something like edit faster. And we'll see that that will apply here. So we go, it now says edit faster. So we would mention a video here where we're showing people how to edit faster. Likewise, you've got the ability to change the color on that. If we really want that to stand out, we can make it maybe a red or something. Or again, in your branding, we can make that the primal video blue. And you can see there that it's updated already. So in this case, I actually don't mind the thanks for watching. So I'll probably leave that as is. I would change this over to our primal video fonts. So you have the ability to go through and select your branded fonts or the fonts that you like the look of here for all of this stuff as well. Customize up the colors. Now the next thing that I will customize up here on this template though is the background image. You can see it's just got the default one over here. Now you can go through and pick and use one of their custom preset images there. Or if you do have your own, you can upload it here as well. So we're gonna go custom image or video. I have an image here that we've used inside of our accelerator training. We can adjust the scale or the crop of that. Let's hit crop. And our image is now applied to the background. So let's go ahead and preview this now. So you can see we've just made some really minor changes just to some of the text, just a couple of the colors and the background image. And this is already starting to look a lot more like something that is branded for us at Primal Video. You've also got the ability to control the playback speed down here as well to speed up or slow down this animation or this video. So you can leave it here at one speed, which is standard. And it says here it's gonna go for nine seconds. You can also slow it down by half. So it's gonna give you twice the amount of video or, or 18 second video, or you can speed it up to 1.5 speed as well. So what we're gonna do, because this is an end card animation, I actually want this to go for longer than nine seconds. So in this case, I'm gonna switch this here to 0.5 so that it is going to go for twice as long when I save it out. So once you've gone through and you've customized this up how you'd like it, you wanna come up the top here and hit save or save draft. This is where you can create an account and sign up. Or if you have an account, you can log in here as well. So once you're logged in, we hit save. That's now saved as one of your drafts. And then to save this or download it to your computer, you've just got to come up to the big download button at the top here. And we'll go render all slides. Now in my experience, the longest that I've had to wait for this is around a minute. So it's not gonna to be too long for it to build your custom video intro here based on all the settings and everything that you have entered. Okay, and once that's finished playing through, you can see that our download button here is now bright blue instead of a grayed out blue and we can hit the download button to save it to our computer and once that's done it'll just say at the top corner processing finished click here to download now we'll go ahead and open up our editing application add this to the end of one of our videos 
Okay, so I'm over here in Final Cut now and I've got one of our YouTube videos here down in the timeline. So we wanna go up here and we wanna import our new end screen template. So we'll select that here, import that in. And we can see that we've got our video here now. I'll click on that and drag it down to our timeline into that last ending section of our video. So in this case, I'll be saying something like, if you're interested in editing your videos faster, then linked on screen is a video to help you do just that. And I'll see you in the next video. So obviously I'm referencing that edit faster video there. So this new end screen is then shown on screen instead of me. But obviously the audio here is still coming through too. Now you will wanna shorten this so that it finishes at the same time as your video or as your audio in this case. And again, remember that this should be on screen for no more than 20 seconds. And the other thing that you can do is add some sort of simple transition to this. If you don't just want it appearing, you can see that I'm talking here and then it just appears. You can add some sort of effect or transition onto this if you'd like that to transition on. So if we come over here to transitions, let's go down to wipes and we grab a wipe and we drag it to the start of the clip here. We'll see that our end screen will transition on. So really, really simple. Now what we need to do is to save this video out, go over to YouTube and add in our edit faster and our subscribe button to the end of this video in under the end card settings. Okay, so we're over on YouTube now in the dashboard area under videos. Once your video is uploaded, just come across and select on it. Come down to end screen and hit the little edit button here. And then all we need to do is come up here to element and we're going to add a subscribe button which is that circle. Now we're gonna position this over our circle here so that that lines up. And we're also going to add in a video. So let's go element, let's add a video. Now in this case, we mentioned a specific video around editing faster. So we'll choose a specific video. You can search through our videos. Let's go edit faster. And here we are best video editing tips to edit faster. We can then grab that and move it over here into that area on the video. So if we play through this now, we can see that we've got our subscribe button and we've got our edit faster video here, all with our animations and everything going on underneath it. Now for your template, if you do need to extend or shorten the length of time that these subscribe buttons or video buttons are on screen, you can do that down the bottom here as well. But again, you do have that hard maximum time limit of 20 seconds. Once you're done, just hit save and that's now applied to your video. So now that you've upped your end screen game, why not level up your thumbnail creation too? Check out the video linked on screen and our animated end screen and I'll see you in the next one.